Bright light city gonna set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and home to the running rebels of UNLV. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Syracuse Orange, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the UNLV Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. will kick off and we'll be underway. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the UNLV Rebels offense takes the field to start this game off. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways. This guy is very dangerous. He's looking to throw it. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. Feeling some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And the defense coming through with the first sack of the day. And I'll tell you what, this defense, they get so many negative plays, and they play so fast. Sometimes you think when you watch them on tape, they got 12 guys. Last week they pitched a shutout. This week playing a great ball again. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. The Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. Gets his first one of the day off. He was called on four times in last week's win. He'll bring it back. It's Haynes. And stampeding through the defense. Touchdown, Cuse. And the special teams. That's always a momentum builder. The return man takes it to the end zone himself, and now he'll give his team the lead. And your defense made a big stop. You think you're getting the offense, the football back, but how about special teams coming through in a big way to take the lead for you, get some excitement, get some juice back on your side? They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Man, you just can't put a price on having a guy like that back there to return punts, and he turned that one into a touchdown. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The short hands. It's Allen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to run for it. And the Rebels get it up for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. From the gun, the running back has it. 
Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking downfield, it's O'Neal. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He breaks a tackle. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. The Rebels line up to punt it away. Remember, they took the last punt back for a touchdown. On the return, it's Haynes. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. So Syracuse's offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Syracuse right back at it. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Using his legs, it's Allen. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short and it'll bring up a fourth down. Gets his first one of the day away, and that matches his total from that victory last week. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful. Ball in the air. Intercepted! Touchdown, Syracuse! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. The returner will field it and bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. Trying to beat him to the corner on the right. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. On the ground, it's James. And this one will be stopped for no. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block, it's Haynes. He only needs a sliver of daylight. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Syracuse right back at it. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. To the air, it's McCord. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. The Orange will have to punt. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter coming. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Using his legs, it's Allen. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. And the Rebels come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Oh, man, they've already lost one quarterback today. Now the backup comes in and has to take a shot. Man, I might think about protecting my QB a little better. I already lost one. Um, now your second guy gets hit, and you got to keep this guy healthy. you got to keep him upright. you got to protect your quarterback, man. Here comes the offense on second down. Guys, we're at the end of the quarter, and Syracuse has the lead. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Wide out in motion. Leaves it with the back. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Fires into traffic, picked off. The return never really got started, but boy, he has set his team up at the 28. I tell you what, I don't know if I'm going to try him much more. Goodness gracious, you can tell he's ready for what he's seeing. Second interception. I would not throw near that guy anymore. You might want to try the other side of the field. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been... He's loose. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Syracuse right back at it. One of the things I love about these misdirection-type plays is that you can pull offensive linemen and get extra bodies at the point of attack. So you're setting yourself up with good angles if you execute it properly, David. You saw it right there. And saying the word angles means a lot because that's exactly what you do. Now I can block down and I can leave somebody unblocked, pull around, kick him out, use misdirection in the backfield. Really just get your eyes as a defense on something else and then go the other direction. Nice misdirection play call by this offense. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Back to throw, it's McCord. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Syracuse comes to the line on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. 
And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. Six plays brought them here. Now number seven on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, and they corral the ball, so they avoid the turnover. But, man, did they lose a chunk of yardage. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. From the left hash, he'll try to bend in a 37-yarder. It is good! And now the lead is even bigger. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Sam Houston may not be leading town with a blowout victory, but they'll take a dub away from Huntsville every time. The Bearcats have been racking up road wins since the Ron Randleman days, and they get another one today. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams, but boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Takes the handoff. It's Allen. Trailing now by 17, David. This is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. But I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Haynes. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. Fires to the right. It's caught. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. And you see the wide receiver, he's got to push up field, make it look like he's going deep, but does a really good job sitting down on that curl, catching the ball, and then as soon as you catch that thing on that curl route, get up field, get positive yards. Nice route by that wide receiver. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Looking for a man, it's McCord. Fires to the big fella. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Syracuse right back at it. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Right back to the air on second and ten. Snagged in the middle. It's Gadsden. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. This might be a little easier if it were straight on, but a 43-yarder from the right hash. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. Oh. 
They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, dude. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The Rebels will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Makes a move. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. They'll try the run. Still running at the 40. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. Back to pass. It's McCord. Finds a tight end. Across the 25, he's got room. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. The give out of the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure comes. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football, you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Lee just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. It just looked like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. I mean, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit, and if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking for a man. It's O'Neal. Got his man quickly. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. 
He'll just keep slinging it. Throws for the tight end. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. His drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. What great protection. Plenty of time to throw. He's going to take off. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. It is perfect. up to kick it off after that last drive put a three spot on the board and now the defense will try to shut them down and no chance at a return here they'll start this drive at their own 25 the Syracuse offense heads back onto the field this has been an impressive first half and Jesse they love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break and why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute throwing and running the football game. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now before the half? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. He's going to throw deep right side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Caught near the sticks. It's Allen. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Syracuse ready to go to work with another first down. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Ross Simmons. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. After the misconnection, it's second down. Back to throw. It's McCord. It's complete to the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This offense has been running wild in the first half, but wait, they want more before they go to the locker room. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Fires into the end zone! Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. About to have the ninth snap on this drive. You don't want to settle for a field goal. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. So they won't get a touchdown, but a chance to put something on the board before halftime. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And that lead grows even bigger. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. And he takes this from inside the five. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? 
and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Allegiant Stadium. And the Rebels will kick it away to crank up the second half. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Coming after him. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Syracuse will be forced to punt. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Offense getting set for first down. Looking to move it through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. The give to the back. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The trend continues for this offensive line from last week. They gave up five sacks last week. They've given up four today. The most important part of your offense is protecting that quarterback. They've got to do a better job. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They move the tight end all over. Looking to throw, it's O'Neal. Getting some heat. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Feeling some heat. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Well, this defense has a three possession lead at this point. You're seeing how dominant they are up front. They have done such a good job recruiting D linemen, linebackers, guys that can blitz. They've got speed. They found guys in the portal. They've recruited guys out of high school, and they are just eating right now. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. On the move, it's Haynes. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. That's caught. It's Allen. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back. But man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep picking up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of him. Here on third down for this offense. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Syracuse will send out the punt team. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. To throw, it's O'Neal. And he is going to lose yard. He's nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. 
Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. Ball's at the 27. His offense facing a third and long. He'll set up to throw. They're setting up the screen. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. And the catch was one thing and the run even better. A big kick up on that one. And the Rebels will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's White. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Off play action. Finds his man. It's Jones. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps his drive moving. The Rebels have their offense in high gear. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll try the right side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. He's looking to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. He's looking to throw it. Right down the middle. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Dropping back, it's O'Neal. He's got it. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Second and goal for this offense. He's looking to throw. He got it. They will score. Touchdown, UNLV. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now. But it might be too little too late, but at least you got the party started. Looking for the two-point try. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Grab behind the line. It's James. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. They'll snap the ball. First play of the drive coming from their own 24. He leaves it with his back. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. Guys, we're at the end of the quarter, and Syracuse has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Offense gets set for second down. The give to the left. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. Syracuse right back at it. Trying to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. 
unloads it left. Hauls it in. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. He's going to pass. Quick strike complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. On the run, it's Allen. And the Rebels will have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's got it on the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They'll line up for a second down play. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Looking downfield, it's O'Neal. Had the pick in his hands and couldn't hang on, and you just won't see that from him very often. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to him. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. Boy, they could have used that one to cut into the deficit, but guys, still a three-score ball game. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. He's right there to stop him, but the quick throw and catch enough to give them the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. On the ground, it's Allen. Turns it on in midfield. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Syracuse right back at it. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks nowhere to go with the ball. And down he goes at the 39. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and that can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. Second down now after the sack. Scanning the field, it's McCord. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And when you get this far behind the chains, and it's a guaranteed passing situation, defensive linemen go to work. That's what we do. We want to get sacks. We want to rush the quarterback, especially in known situations like this. That's why the quarterback tasted that dirt. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Power football with the run. At the 35, he's open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Syracuse doing business in the red zone. They're going to go right back to him on first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. Here's the handoff. They get him on the ground with this running game imposing its will. Six-yard gain down to the 17. 
On third down, he drops to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Ross Simmons. Touchdown, Orange! And the route is on. That one ought to give them firm control of this game, and they have gotten things going here, about to move to 4-1. and one. Yeah, Salt enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Arizona State is currently ahead in this one inside a jam-packed Sun Devil Stadium, but despite the forks up right now, this one is tight. They're up by four over Kansas. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Throws to the wideout. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They're bringing heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Dropping back, it's O'Neal. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Bottle a little time, lets it go. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Showing the arm strength to the left. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. On fourth down, going to the air. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. The offense set for a first down play. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The give, and tick, 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 tick. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Got it on the outside. It's Ross Simmons. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. He'll have to generate power and some accuracy. A 50-yarder from the left hash. No good. And guys, this will stay a 24-point game. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time. It put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Now on first down from the 43. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the catch. It's white. Oh, what a move to get open. 
They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Wide receiver shows motion. Back to pass. It's O'Neal. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. They keep attacking through the air. He's got him in the flat. Touchdown, Rebel! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And listen, if I have a playmaker at running back like that with that kind of speed, yeah, I'm going to throw the swing to him, too. He drops back, surveys the field. He says, I know my guy can make a play. Gets the ball in his hands right now on the swing. He does the rest, gets in for the touchdown. Two-point conversion attempt is coming. They want to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback is sacked. Big play by the defense that is probably going to be wiped out by that penalty flag. I think they jumped offside. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. With this big cushion they're working with, Jesse, they're ready to send these fans toward the exits. And you know the coaching staff has got to be so happy with how this offense has been able to come out here on the road, fight the crowd noise, and execute at such a high level, Dave. Yeah, just dominate the football game. And now, listen, it's mode where I can run the football, run out the clock, watch this game go to zeros and get the dub. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the back. Shows him the stiff arm. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. You're going to hear guys after this game say, you got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.